My name is Mark House and I'm the Area Manager for Prevention and Protection at Dorset and Wiltshire Fire and Rescue Service. On Saturday the 23rd of April, I was the incident commander at a large Heathland fire at Canford Heath in Paul. Just before 6pm on Saturday, Dorset and Wiltshire Fire and Rescue Service received the first of 168 999 calls reporting a fire on the heath. One fire engine was set and when they arrived they found an area of heathland well alight and called for further assistance. Over the next six hours these firefighters were joined by a further 14 fire appliances and additional special appliances. Firefighters from Dorset, Wiltshire, Hampshire and the Isle of Wight tackled the fire. The fire spread burning an area the size of 23 football pitches, destroying the habitat of and affecting the wildlife that live on this internationally important heathland. Whilst larger animals such as cattle and birds were able to move away from the fire, many of the smaller ones may have perished. The added tragedy of a fire in spring is that it is the breeding season and many nests and young would have been destroyed. The fire spread, reaching the edge of the heath. 20 houses were evacuated and the residents unable to return home until after midnight, spending hours wondering if they would have a home to return to. One resident has described how he desperately used his garden hose to spray water onto his property to try and reduce the risk of embers spread by the wind, setting fire to his property. Thanks to the hard work and bravery of the firefighters, no homes were damaged by the fire and no one was injured. The main road through Camford was closed due to the smoke causing visibility issues and to keep people safe. As well as containing embers which can spread the fire, smoke contains toxic particles which can cause breathing problems. Many people gathered nearby to watch the fire, but for their own safety, the police asked everyone to move on. Firefighters used a combination of different techniques to tackle the fire. Water to cool the fire, beating the fire with specialist fire beaters and creating fire breaks to stop the fire spread and extinguish it. This is hard work, wearing fire kit and working close to the flames, undertaking physically demanding tasks on uneven ground and working with reduced visibility due to the smoke and fading light. The chances of injuries is high although I'm pleased to say that everyone stayed safe. The first fire appliance sent to the scene was from Red Hill, arriving 12 minutes after the initial 999 call. The nearest fire crew would have been Paul, who would have been there in five minutes. However, they were attending a four vehicle road traffic collision, which had 10 casualties. At the height of the Heath fire, 15 fire appliances were in attendance. None of these were therefore able to attend other incidents such as property fires or road traffic collisions for which they may have been the nearest help. The next nearest fire appliance would have been sent, take, maybe taking five minutes longer to get there. Five minutes may not seem long, about the length of this video, but imagine if you were trapped inside a crashed car or in a building on fire. Five minutes is a very long time. Many people of all ages use the heath. At times, the fire was spreading faster than anyone can run. If Usain Bolt couldn't outrun a fire, what chance would an elderly grandparent pushing their grandchild in a pushchair have? Whilst we were extremely pleased no one was hurt, this could have been a different story. So how did the fire start? Well, fire investigation officers alongside the police over the coming days will investigate to try and establish the cause of the fire. Please, this summer only have campfires and barbecues in designated places and make sure they're fully out when you finish with them. Perhaps have a picnic instead. It could have been as a result of fire play and fine setting. Maybe someone alone or maybe someone encouraged by a group they were with. There was probably not the intention to create such a big fire. However, it all, took, all it took was one small flame for this massive destructive fire to burn and destroy.
Whoever started this fire, whether they meant to or not, put lives, including their own, and their friends and family in danger. Please do not play with fire. You are responsible for your choices. Make them safe ones and use your safety sense. Thank you for your time.